James Webb Space Telescope Horror. The $10 billion NASA Space Telescope has been damaged by meteorite collision. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, NASA's most expensive and powerful space telescope ever made, suffered damage after being smashed by a space rock. The new report has warned that the James Webb Telescope primary mirror may have suffered more damage than previously thought after a micrometeorite collided into it and the, the spiritual successor to Hubble Observatory, James Webb has infrared images which of course can see in the dark. So the telescope has generated a lot of excitement over the past week as it unveiled stunning images of the oldest and deepest part of the universe ever seen. NASA scientists are thrilled by the possibilities that it holds as it could solve some of the universe's deepest mysteries like the enormous black hole called Sagittarius A that lies in the center of our Milky Way galaxy. But the paper published Tuesday on the academic preprint server ARXIV revealed that most of the micrometeorite strikes on James Webb's big mirror had resulted in negligible damage. Unfortunately, the report warned that one strike in mid-May from a micrometeoroid left the expensive telescope without permanent damage. The authors wrote the single micrometeorite impact that occurred between 22 to 24 May of 2022 exceeded pre-launch expectations of damage for a single micrometeoroid triggering further investigation and modeling by the JWST project. Micrometeoroids are tiny space rocks usually weighing less than a gram. Despite its negligible size, the report warned that further strikes from such space rocks could pose a threat to the longevity of the observatory. The report said the mirrors and sun shield are expected to slowly degrade from micrometeoroid impacts. The detectors are expected to experience cumulative slow damage from charged particles. The sun shield and multi-layered insulation will degrade from space weathering. The, and they said the spacecraft was designed for a five-year mission as it started for NASA science missions and the science instruments include many moving parts at cryogenic temperatures. At present, the largest source of uncertainty is the long-term effects of micrometeoroid impacts that slowly degrade the primary mirror. The James Webb Space Telescope uses a six and a half meter diameter segmented mirror to collect light and focus on scientific instruments which is exposed to space. In contrast, its predecessor Hubble tel telescope enclosed the primary mirror inside a cylindrical housing. So that's not, what's, that's not what's taking place here. But scientists have noted that given Webb's original around uh, the orbit around Lagrangian point two, about a million miles from our Earth, the observatory will only face potentially hazardous micrometeoroids about once per month. The report found that during the commissioning period from late January to June, the primary mirror was struck by tiny space rocks six times while the NASA team on the ground was calibrating and aligning the telescope. In one of those impacts, five did minimal damage to the primary mirror and the researchers will be able to adjust the calculations to account for the impact. But the sixth impact, which struck a mirror segment labeled C3, caused more damage than NASA can fully correct for. The report says it's not yet clear whether the May 2022 hit to segment C3 was a rare event, hence an unlucky, unlucky early strike by a high kinetic energy micrometeoroid that statistically might occur only once in several years, or whether the telescope may be more susceptible to damage by micrometeoroids than pre-launch modeling predicted. And this is on Express UK by Anthony Ashkenaz. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.